In this short presentation, we will explore the features and benefits of Token Grant Channel Management, which is designed to optimize the efficiency of SCADA and telemetry systems implemented with the TRIO-Q data radio. In many data radio systems, data collisions can be common, reducing channel efficiency. This typically occurs because two or more devices transmit at the same time. For example, RTUs configured for DNP3 exception reporting or when multiple asynchronous protocols are operating on the same system. When the entry point or repeater receives two transmissions at the same time, it may not be able to decode either, and so both can be lost. As a result, efficiency is reduced because of the need for timeouts and retries. Token Grant Channel Management, or TGCM, provides a collision-free, low-latency, high-performance channel management system. It applies smart machine-based learning to predict channel access demands and prioritize them. TGCM can support many system topologies, including systems with multiple store and forward repeaters. It is ideal for systems where multiple devices can generate traffic at the same time, such as DNP3 or IEC 61870 protocols. TGCM is available in simplex and half-duplex radio types only. TGCM remotes and TGCM repeaters obtain timing and other information from a regularly transmitted beacon sent by the TGCM master radio. If a remote radio has data to transmit during a specific time slot called the token request window, it will request a token from the TGCM master. Once the token is granted by the TGCM master, the remote transmits its own data. The message is then acknowledged, and the channel becomes free for other traffic. As can be seen here, TGCM can be used in many system topologies, though always in either half-duplex or simplex mode. Point-to-point -point with just two radios, point-to-multipoint with one central master, point-to-multipoint via repeater, or point-to-multipoint via multiple repeaters. Note that TGCM is not required on point-to-point -point full duplex links. Every TGCM radio system requires one radio to operate as the TGCM master. This is typically the central radio in the system, either the entry point radio or a repeater. Each radio has a specified TGCM mode of operation, master, repeater, or remote. The TGCM master has two configurable parameters. Network ID must be a number between 0 and 7, and all radios in a system must be configured with the same value. This ensures that transmissions from another similarly configured system on the same frequency are ignored. We will explore dynamic polling mode on the next slide. Dynamic polling should typically be enabled in the TGCM master and in TGCM repeaters. It uses machine learning algorithms to predict when a remote radio is likely to have data to transmit and then elevates that remote into a dynamic polling list. Radios in the dynamic polling list are given priority channel access. The algorithm also detects when traffic from the remote has ceased and removes the radio from the priority list. This feature helps to ensure that channel access is allocated based on real-time traffic demands, resulting in lower latency and faster transactions. A TGCM remote may be configured for either subscribed access or random access mode. Subscribe mode may be configured where each remote generates constant telemetry without acknowledgement or further polling, such as GPS location and time updates. Random access mode is optimal for most use cases and will be the focus of this presentation. A degree of randomness included in the timing of token requests will minimize the likelihood of two token requests colliding. The TGCM master responds with a token grant, which defines which remote is allowed to transmit and when. If for any reason a token grant is not received by a remote, it will send another request during the token request window. The TGCM master always retains priority access to the channel for transmitting outgoing messages to the TGCM remotes. With TGCM, there is no loss of SCADA data as a result of collisions. Instead, SCADA data is buffered in the radio and a small increase in latency occurs. All of this activity is transparent to the SCADA system. This animation demonstrates typical TGCM activity. The TGCM master defines system timing with the TGCM beacon, which also specifies the token request window. Here, both remotes A and B have data to send. They request tokens at the same time, causing a collision. Neither remote receives a token, and so both wait, each for a different random back-off delay. 
Remote A's random delay is shorter, so that at the next token request window, it sends a token request and is granted channel access, and sends its user data. After Remote A completes its transaction, Remote B acquires a token and sends its data. In point to multipoint via multiple repeater systems, all radios must be configured in IP routing mode. TGCM repeaters must communicate directly with the TGCM master and are permanently elevated into the dynamic priority list so they have priority over TGCM remotes. There may be more than one parallel TGCM repeater in the network, but additional repeaters will cause more latency as the TGCM master must grant each one time to act as a master to its remotes. A TGCM repeater acts as a TGCM master for its own remotes and so has its own configurable dynamic polling selection. Network ID must match all other radios in the system. One parameter that is unique to a TGCM repeater is repeater segment ID. This parameter defines which TGCM remotes will connect to it for use where TGCM repeaters provide overlapping coverage. Each TGCM repeater is configured with a unique segment ID which also must be configured in TGCM remotes, which are to talk to that repeater. Note that the TGCM master is pre-configured with a segment ID of one. Here is a graphic demonstrating a typical configuration for a point to multipoint radio system. First, the entry point radio is configured as the TGCM master. Next, it can be seen that both remotes have been configured for random access mode. The network ID in all three radios is the same, in this case set to a value of zero. Lastly, the segment ID in the two remotes is set at the default value of one. Remotes communicating directly with the TGCM master must use this value. Here is a point to multipoint via repeater system. In this case, the TGCM master radio is the repeater, which is the central radio in this system. The system is operating with a network ID of zero, all other radios in this system, including the entry point radio, are configured as TGCM remotes and again communicating with the TGCM master using network ID 0. This network is more complex as it includes two in series repeaters. Remember that such a system must be configured for IP routing mode. Here, the first repeater, which communicates directly with the greatest number of remotes, is configured as the TGCM master. Most of the remotes talking directly to the TGCM master, including the entry point radio, are configured as TGCM remotes and using the same network ID as the TGCM master. The one exception is the second repeater in series with the first. It is configured as a TGCM repeater. Like the remotes communicating with the TGCM master, its network ID is zero, but as it is a TGCM repeater, it requires a new segment ID which is set to a value of two. The remote that talks to this TGCM repeater is still on network zero, but its segment ID is also two, ensuring that it communicates with the correct repeater. The Trio Q data radios also include helpful diagnostic information about the performance of TGCM. To view this information, navigate to the monitoring summary page. Available diagnostic information includes TGCM synchronization state, if a TGCM remote or repeater is not receiving TGCM beacon messages, an LED alarm will be shown, and this parameter will state not synced. Wait time to transmit tracks the average wait to receive a token during the last 100 transmissions. Random access contention tracks what percentage of the last 100 transmissions encountered the need to retry a token request. More detailed information is provided in the extensive user manual. In summary, with the release of firmware version 2.4, the Trio Q data radio now includes token grant channel management. TGCM provides significantly greater channel efficiency for systems operating in simplex or half duplex with DNP3 or IEC 61870 type SCADA traffic. Thank you for your interest in the advanced Trio Q data radio. Thank you.